But we also sit down with the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, to talk about the administration's plan to overhaul the U.S. tax code. Here's part of it. Mr. Secretary, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I think it's fair to say the last election was an expression of anxiety on the part of the American middle class. And the administration has said repeatedly they recognize that. How does this plan address the concerns of the American middle class? I think, as you know, President Trump from day one has been very focused on the economy yes. and absolutely convinced that we can get back to sustained economic growth of 3% GDP or higher. And the tax plan is center stage of his economic plan. So this is all about middle income tax cuts, cutting business taxes and making U.S. business competitive with the rest of the world. So if you're a Trump voter and you're making... 55,000, 59,000 median income. Um, what does this mean for you? You're going to see at least several hundred dollars of a tax cut, and that's what you're going to see money in your pocket. So, to your critics who say, well, wait a second, corporations are seeing a much larger tax cut, why is that fair when corporate profits are very high and middle class income is stagnant? What do you say? Tucker, 70 percent of the burden of corporate taxes are borne by the worker. So the reason why we're cutting corporate taxes is so that American business can be competitive. Right now, we have one of the highest tax rates in the world, and that's why jobs are going overseas. So this is about bringing back trillions of dollars that are offshore and making business competitive. That's why we call it Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So if businesses profit more, workers benefit. That's your argument. But businesses are doing well now. Why aren't wages keeping pace with corporate profits? Well, again, businesses are doing well. The stock market's doing well. So for rich people, it's been a, a great eight years. But for right. the average American worker, they haven't seen their wages increase. So this is about making U.S. business competitive, having more jobs here, and giving wage increases to workers. But there's the counter case that corporate profits have been rising, but wages have not been. That's puzzling to people watching. Why well, they, they've been rising some, but they haven't been rising proportionate with the stock market. And this right. is going to be about creating more earnings, about more important, bring back capital. So we're going to encourage companies to bring back trillions of dollars that will be invested here to have new jobs, new factories, new buildings, new manufacturing. How much do you expect to come back? Three trillion dollars at least. The president thinks it could be four or five. This bill, as written, would increase the number of people who don't pay federal taxes and basically make the government more reliant on a smaller number of people carrying the whole burden. Does that make you uncomfortable? It doesn't. I mean, one of the things the president has said continuously, this is not about tax cuts for rich people. Right. This is about tax cuts for the middle class. And for, for working Americans, we're going to raise the standard deduction to $24,000 for families. Here we are at the Reagan Library. There's no better place to have tribute to what was done 31 years ago with President Reagan. You know, the, the President Trump's tax reform will be even bigger. So the president during the campaign said repeatedly that he was going to give, quote, a hair cut to the private equity people and the hedge fund managers by doing away with what is called the carried interest loophole, right. which allows people to take salary and get taxed at the investment rate, which is almost half. That is still in there. This bill allows that to continue. Why? I'm sure that's one of the issues will be debated as it gets through the House and as it gets to the Senate, and we'll be working with both parties on. Are you gonna, you're going to push on that? We are. Not every group in D.C. loves the plan, and one of the most upset are the, the realtors and the home builders who are mad about um, the deductions you'll be eliminating for mortgage interest. We've preserved in the House version, you know, a $500,000 mortgage that you can deduct the interest. Right. That's an awfully big home in mostly every single part of this country. We're cutting out lots of loopholes throughout the whole tax plan. So there will be people who don't like bits and pieces, but people understand this is a pass-fail exercise. It's critical to the economy, and we're going to get it done. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Thank you.